Hey, welcome. Come on in. I'm so excited to have you here. I'm glad you agreed to come over. Oh, don't worry about your shoes. Just keep them on. Follow me. I really need to thank you again for the article you wrote. I had so much fun with the interview, and a lot of the people seem interested in my game now. I received about 100 pre-orders the week after alone. I didn't even think my project would attract that much attention at all. But you really captured the spirit of the game in your words. Impressive, considering you only got to play test it for such a short amount of time. You really motivated me to keep going, and I got a lot of work done since we last met. Most graphics are now implemented, and you shouldn't see any of the bugs you encountered last time. <laughs> Sorry about that. By the way, I didn't mean for the NPCs to distort in that way. Oh, also, I managed to get the game running for VR. Virtual reality, I mean. Have you ever worn a VR headset before? Ah, of course. Should have figured someone who works for a gaming magazine has some experience with all kinds of setups. What do you think? Want to try the game in VR? Should be more immersive compared to just looking at a computer screen. Glad you're down. I know some people get very sick very easily when using VR, so I'm glad this isn't your first time trying it. Wouldn't want to get a bad review because of that. <laughs> Here, this is the headset. You probably haven't seen one quite like this one before. I made some modifications. I've improved both performance as well as comfort. I came up with a head strap that should be more comfortable than the ones you can buy on the market, especially useful when I have to wear it for a long time. Let me help you put it on. Yeah, it's a bit more difficult to put it on your head. Sorry. But you'll see. It'll put much less pressure on your face in the long run, so initial inconvenience is worth it, at least to me. Okay, that should have been the last strap. Uh, how does it feel? Does it pinch anywhere or feel too loose? All right, then we should be able to start. I'll power up the game. It should start automatically. You don't need to press anything. Here we go. Is it working? Awesome. In that case, let me just hand you the controllers. Uh, put your hands out in front of you. They're like gloves. They just slide into your hands. Should give you the best experience, you know? I'll explain the controls to you in a bit. I think the game should have fully loaded in by now. Do you see the starting area yet? Good, good. In that case, I'll get in VR real quick. This headset isn't modified like the one you're wearing right now, but it should be comfortable enough for the time it'll take to teach you the controls. Oh, did I not mention that there's a multiplayer option now? Sorry, I must have forgotten, but yeah, you can play up to four people at a time now. At least in theory. I haven't tried it with that many players yet. But just two should be fine. Let me join your instance. Here we go. Hi. Can you see me? Yes, there we go. <laughs> Pretty cool, isn't it? I see you already found the option to draw a sword. Don't know how to recreate that, huh? No worries. It's pretty easy. Just put your right hand on your left hip and act like you're drawing a real sword. You need to close your hand for it, though. There you go, you're natural. All the other controls are pretty intuitive as well. Simply do what you would do in real life. Want to pick up a cup? Close your hand around it. Want to kill an enemy? Stab him with the sword. If you need to open the menu, Hold your hand with your palm facing up like this. Then, touch your thumb and index finger of your other hand together to click on things. Simple enough, right? I think that's 
all you need to know now. Let's just get started. You already know the main story, so how would you like to see some of the new features? There's a little secret I added to this version. Just a little thing I played around with for a bit. It's not meant to be included in the final version of the game, but um, it might interest you either way. Yeah, it's no problem. I'd love to show it to you. In fact, I insist. Uh, follow me over here. You can open this door. Just grab the handle. Go on. Doesn't it look pretty? Move around a bit. Take in the scenery. The stars in the sky. The glowing flowers. Little cabin in the distance. Just feels like you could spend a lifetime here, doesn't it? I'm glad you agree, love. Yes, I did call you that. I mean, look at you. Didn't you notice that your avatar changed? How beautiful you are? We can finally be together now, my love. I've been looking for a way to bring my sweetheart to life for years now. To upgrade you from 2D to 3D. And when I realized I could simply commission someone to turn your artwork into an avatar, that I could stand before the one I've devoted my life to with something as simple as a VR headset, a small price to pay for an eternity of love. It was an exciting new chance, and I am overjoyed with how well the artist brought out your beautiful features, love. But when I first saw you, you were lifeless, couldn't move, couldn't respond, couldn't laugh, and I... I couldn't touch you. No hugs, no kisses, nothing. So, I swore to find a better way. And sweetie, I found it. First, I was planning on developing an artificial intelligence, a chatbot of sort, but, but better. After all, it would have had your personality, hun. I still wouldn't have been able to feel your touch, but maybe a robot could have fixed that. However, dealing with an AI is beyond my scope, and hiring someone to do it is so expensive. So, I needed to make money. Lots of it. A popular game that sells many copies would just be what I need. So, I worked tirelessly. I came up with a story, wrote code, drew up graphics night after night. But, I soon realized that I would need to advertise my product. A way to make people aware of it. So, I asked a magazine to write an article about it. To create some anticipation for release day. But as soon as that journalist walked in, sweetheart, I knew even the best AI would not do you justice. The mannerisms, the speech patterns, the laugh, it all resembled you with such accuracy. I could never get that close to perfection ever again. So, I decided I had to have that journalist for you, my love. And this, this is all I could have hoped for. You move, you speak, and I can hold your hand. Hun, why, why are you pulling away? Don't you see that I did all this for you? I put together this world just for you. I gave you a body, a voice. Don't you feel alive at least? Stop struggling. You can't take off the headset. The locks are strapped, sweetie. I designed them myself. There's no way to undo them without me. It stays on. Don't you appreciate all I've done for you? <sighs> what am I talking about?
Of course you don't feel like yourself yet. It's only been a few minutes. Of course you'd be hesitant. You still think you're that journalist. Just some random person who writes article and promotes games. But, love, soon, you will see. You're so much more than that. You're mine. You're perfect. You're all I need. All I need to survive in this world. And I'll be all you need. I can give you anything you desire. Say the word and I'll implement anything you ask for. Anything. I promise you. I'll make you happy, my love. Now that you're fully alive, that you'll be able to finally love me back. Just a couple months ago, I never would have thought this day would have come. But even though you're here now, I'll still have to be patient. I'll have to wait for you to adjust to your new life. An easier life. No work. No schedule. Just leisure. I'll let you process for a little while. But let it be said, and this goes mostly to the journalists within you, don't even try to do anything you might regret. The headset is locked around your neck, and the cable isn't removable. I've made sure of that. I'll see you for dinner, sweetheart. Mwah.